A California judge has made a ruling on reclassifying Uber and Lyft drivers as employees. For more on this, let's go to business in Vancouver's Haley Wooden, who's joining us now. Good morning, Haley. What's the latest on this decision? This is a big development in this case. We know that drivers in many jurisdictions have long fought for this classification. Drivers typically considered contractors, but in this case in California, they will be considered employees, which affords them certain rights, including minimum wage, access to overtime pay, and access to paid sick leave. Now, there are nine days until this goes into effect. Both Uber and Lyft have stated publicly that they plan on challenging this order immediately. It's going to be costly for them to implement and comply with this order, and that was acknowledged in court this week. The court in California said that this represents a significant change to the business practices of these ride hailing companies. So we'll see what happens. But if Uber and Lyft are unsuccessful in their attempt to challenge this order, they're going to have to pay more to employees. They're also going to have to do things like hire HR managers to manage what will now be driver workforces and not just networks of contractors. And Haley, can you also bring us up to speed on another uh, lawsuit? McDonald's suing its former CEO over allegations of inappropriate relationship cover-ups. That's right. This is quite a complex case. So last year, Stephen Easterbrook let go from the company over what was described as a consensual relationship with an employee. It cost the company about 42 million U.S. dollars in severance to break their relationship with Easterbrook. But since then, some new information has come to light, including the fact that Easterbrook had three relationships with other employees. The company claims that he destroyed evidence to cover up those relationships. And McDonald's also claims that he grew granted hundreds of thousands of dollars in stock to one of those employees. The company saying that it relied on its former CEO being truthful when it came to its decision to let him go last year. They're now seeking damages and an effort to try and stop Easterbrook from exercising his stock options. So we'll see if they're successful in that effort. We will indeed. All right. Business in Vancouver's Haley Wooden. Thanks as always. Thanks. Me too.